In its early days, machine translation was pretty terrible. Aside from creating some funny pictures for the internet, there wasn't a whole lot it was good for. But in just a decade, it's come far enough to be useful for translating most languages, and that's going to threaten a lot of jobs. Let's get one thing out of the way up front. Machines will probably never replace humans for some translation jobs. Communication doesn't just depend on vocalized language. Body language, personality, and the speaker's relationships and history with each other all come into play. Humans will probably be better at those aspects of translation for the foreseeable future, which means that high-level jobs like translating diplomacy between world leaders are probably safe. Lots of language jobs have lower stakes, though, and that's where machines will shine. Translation and localization is a $40 billion industry worldwide, and a lot of that money comes from jobs translating things like technical documents, business plans, corporate communiques, the kinds of things machines are already decent at and getting better every day. In 10 to 20 years, it's likely that a lot of these jobs will dry up because companies will be able to use machine translation that is, if not perfect, at least good enough to get the information across. And since machine translation is likely to be both instant and cheap, most companies will be happy to settle for good enough. But translation jobs are just the tip of the iceberg. The massive underwater bulk of the machine translation menace is its effect on language study. Consider this. There are 1.7 billion people across the globe studying English, and that number is rising. Across Asia, English is mandatory in most countries, and that produces a lot of jobs. China, for example, has more than 300 million English students. There are English teachers in every Chinese public school, and the country has a $4.5 billion extracurricular English training market. When machine translation is good enough that most people can use their smartphones to communicate in English without speaking a word of it themselves, it could well mean a precipitous drop in foreign language study. Now, of course, people will still study foreign languages. There are lots of reasons to do that beyond the desire for basic communication. But when a lot of the practical business value of language study is removed by machine translation, the number of interested students is likely to drop quite a bit. In Asia, for example, the ESL industry's growth has been driven by the belief that speaking English is a valuable business asset. When your phone speaks perfect English for you, lots of students are going to decide they'd be better off spending their class time perfecting some other business skill. Educational bureaucracy tends to move slowly, so language teaching jobs aren't going to be snuffed out by machine translation overnight. But in 20 years, there are likely to be a lot fewer translators finding regular work, and the number of foreign language teaching jobs will probably be on the decline as well. <laughs>